So I've really been uh, educating people about the importance of zinc on quite a few videos. Um, but the problem is there is a point where you can have too much. So this video is on the toxic effect of zinc. If you're trying to support your immune system, zinc is crucial. Um, but the question is, how much are you taking? Now, if you take large amounts over a short period of time, there's not going to be an issue. But I'm talking about if you're taking large amounts over many, many months, you could create a copper deficiency. So I just want to talk about the symptoms of a copper deficiency. Nausea, vomiting, pain, diarrhea, high LDL, low HDL, sway back, but you're probably not going to get a sway back. This usually happens before you're born, but that's just one of the symptoms. Anemia, pale, decreased appetite, you're irritable, fatigue. You can also have a problem with building collagen because you need copper to build collagen. Zinc and copper work together. Too much zinc, you deplete copper. So I always recommend when you're taking zinc, take copper with it as well as all the trace minerals together. And that way, you never have to worry about it. And let me just explain what I mean by a extremely high amount of zinc. So let's say you're taking 300 milligrams for several weeks. That can be too much. Typically, if you have some lung problem, like pneumonia or some type of lower respiratory issue, um, you'd want to take 225 milligrams, okay? But I also recommend take the copper with it, take the trace minerals with it, just to make sure you don't create another problem. And a lot of people consume a lot more than that, but the threshold seems to be like 100 milligrams. If you stay below that, you can take that for a, a good period of time without having a problem. But as soon as you start going over 100, you start creating problems with copper. It's not just taking zinc over a period of time, it's the amount of zinc that you're taking, and then you have the time variable as well. And on the flip side, to balance out this conversation about zinc being toxic in large amounts, most people are deficient in zinc, and our bodies do not retain zinc for any period of time. So we're, we're constantly losing zinc, and we need it. So if you're not consuming foods that have zinc, chances are you'll, you'll probably be deficient, and there's a whole series of symptoms with that. You want to think about just the right amount. You want to make sure you have the foods with enough zinc. But if you just take it with copper and all the trace minerals, you're going to be totally fine. And as far as a video on zinc deficiency, I put that link down below. Check it out. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before